camp, we'll be applying tags to fish. One of the types of tags that we will be applying are these small disc tags. In preparation for that, first thing we need to do is we need to attach these tags to monofilament fishing line. And I'm going to show you two different kinds of knots. I want you to learn both of these knots, but at camp you'll be able to use whichever one works best for you. The first one, I have a folded piece of monofilament, so a bite. And you have to pass that bite through the eye of the tag. There's a little hole in the tag. And this will be the hardest part of the process for me, is getting this through there. Once you have it through, the doubled portion, I'm going to tie the first step in tying your shoes, just that simple wrap around. And there you have a simple knot on a bite with the tag suspended in the middle. To finish this knot, we've created a loop here from the end of the bite. We need to get this tag through that loop. So just put your fingers through, grab the tag, pull it through, start to tighten, but don't tighten too much yet. If you tighten without lubrication, you'll end up abrading the line and it won't be strong. So you have to add some lubricant, usually spit. Once you've got that, tighten it up and make sure that loop comes around. And then grab your clippers, trim the shorter of the two lines, and there you have your tag attached to a piece of monofilament. That's the Palomar knot. I've cut my monofilament too short for actual tagging, so a camp will work with longer pieces. Once again, in this case I've already passed the double portion of the line through the tag. Just make the first stage in tying your shoes an overhand knot. This loop in my right hand, the tag has to come through there. So just reach through, grab the tag. You can do the same thing with a fishing lure, attach a fishing lure or a swivel this way. Get the knot snugged up to some extent, then you have to add your lubricant. and then pull to tighten, make sure the knot lays flat into it. Pull on the longer portion of the line. Bring the clippers in and clip. So once again, Palomar knot. This will be a nighttime activity the night before your tagging activity. This is something you'll be doing as a group. So, one more time, past the doubled portion or the bite on monofilament through the tag. Simple overhand knot, and then pass the tag through the loop. Snug it up a little bit. Lubricate. And then tighten up the knot. Cut off the working end. That's the Palomar knot. The next knot we're going to do is called an improved clinch knot. So with an improved clinch knot, once again have an eye on the tag, you're just going to pass a single strand of line through that, pull it through and secure it, and then I'm going to start twisting. One, two, three, 
four, five. The working end, I've twisted around the standing part of the line five times. If you turn the knot on edge, you will see right here there's a small loop between the first twist and the tag. Turn the tag on end is what I should have said. Pass that working end through that loop. And then this loop that you've now created by doing that, you're going to pass the working end back through that, snug it up a little bit, then lubricate. And then tighten. If you don't lubricate these knots with spit or with water, then the line will probably weaken it. It will weaken itself when you try and tighten it down dry. So that is the improved clinch knot. Similar knot is called the trilene knot. If you know the trilene knot, I'm not going to show it to you, but if you know it, you can use that in this same place. So, once again, in this case, I've already put the line through the eye. I like to keep the standing part off to my right. Take the working, and the, uh, the tag is in my left hand. Take the working end, wrap it around one. Got to figure out which fingers work best for you. One, two, you'll see my pinky is involved. Actually, two, three, four, five. Once again, turn the tag on edge. And that's where you'll see the loop that's created here. Now I've created this other loop. Have to pull the working end through that. Snug things up a little bit. Then lubricate. And then tighten. And then we're going to clip off the short end. So. That's attached with the improved clinch knot. One more time. Improved clinch knot, single strand has gone through the eye of the tag. I'm going to hold the tag in my left hand. I like the uh, standing part of the line to the bottom. Working part of the line. Twists around one, two, three. Got to get all your fingers working here. Four. Five. Pass it through the loop between the tag and the first twist. Pass it back through the loop that you've created now. Lubricate. Clip off the short end. So these tags are ready to be applied to a fish. I've been asked to reshoot the tag tying videos with something larger, more visible. This fishing spoon will represent the fishing tag, the clear tag that we used in the previous video. This green net mending twine will represent the monofilament. What I'm going to be able to show you here is the procedure with which to tie the knot. At the end, because I'm not using monofilament, the knot will not nest as nicely as it should but the procedure to get you there is what I want you to see. So, improved clinch knot. Start by passing a single length of line through the tag. We have a standing part of the line and we have a working end of the line. The working end of the line, we're gonna wrap five times around the standing part of the line. And if you watch, you get all ten of your fingers involved in this. You're even using your pinky fingers to hold and make this happen. So once you've got that twisted around, you can see right here there's a loop right next to the tag that has been created just from the twist. The working end of the line passes through that loop and in having done so we've just created another loop right now right here. The working end of the line has to pass once again through that other loop. And then this is where we bind it up, use our thumb and forefinger, lubricate it with spit, thumb and forefinger to nest it down. And then we would trim that line and we would have our improved clinch knot. The improved clinch knot, it's hard to see with monofilament, but you see a little beehive nest of coils stacked right around the standing part of the line. And that's your finished knot. So here we go with the Palomar knot. 
you need to pass a doubled portion of line. So we double our line, we make a bite, and you pass that through the hole in the tag. And there you have a doubled portion of line through the tag. I'm going to show you a different way to achieve that because with the actual tags, the hole is awfully small. So sometimes it's better to pass the line through turn it around and pass it back through the way you came, the end result being this doubled portion of line through the tag. Now when you're learning, give yourself lots of line to tie this with because it's not an easy knot to tie if, you have, if you've shortchanged yourself. But the first thing we're going to do is tie an overhand knot, which is the first step in tying your shoes. You just tie a simple overhand knot. Now at this point, we do not clamp down that knot tightly because before we do so we want to pass the tag through this loop right here. So we're going to reach in through that loop, we're going to grab the tag and we're going to start pulling it down. Because I'm not using monofilament it's not going to bind down quite as, as nicely but the process to get us here is what I wanted you to see and that would ultimately have with monofilament lubricate it, bind it down, that would have nestled down nicely and that would have given you your